Hello and welcome to MakeLog number 7. This time I would like to talk about the lithium polymer batteries in mobile phones. My mobile phone here is a Sony Ericsson Satio which is over 5 years old. I realized that the battery capacity was getting weaker from year to year. So I measured the capacity and you can see in April 2013 the capacity was 700 milliampere hour. This is the original battery, so no China import or something else. And after 5 years it has lost 25% of its capacity. So I wanted to find a new battery with the full capacity of 1000 mAh. So I was checking online stores and bought some other batteries, which you can see here. The two batteries packed in plastic foil at the top are new. I bought them some weeks ago. The two batteries at the bottom are quite old. I bought them one year ago. But I tested these batteries directly after I have received them. The measurement results of the batteries at the bottom are not available anymore. And these results were quite bad. As you can see here, this one has only a capacity of 600 mAh and the other one has got a capacity of only 500 mAh. That is less than the capacity of the original battery after 5 years of use. These two batteries at the bottom are not worth their money at all. Let's have a look at the upper two ones. I have ordered them from another place, but both from the same distributor. Let's put them into my charger and test them. Here you see the battery being connected to the charger. The charger is an ALC 8500. Since the programming of this charger is quite cumbersome via the buttons and the knob, we will use a software which also shows us the actual values. We choose 200 milliampers for discharging current and 333 milliampers for charging. Also we have a lithium polymer battery. This diagram shows us the values of the charging current shown in red and of the voltage of the battery in blue. We get a live update of this and let me update it. You can see that the current is increasing and also the voltage is increasing. Since the charging and the discharging take some time, we will only have a look at the final diagrams. This is the charging diagram of the first battery. First you can see that the current is increasing until it reaches its limit of 333 milliampers. This limit is being kept until the battery voltage reaches its limit of 4.2 volts. At that point the charging current is being decreased to, to keep the voltage at 4.2 volts. The charging current is decreasing and the voltage is constant here. So at that first part we have a constant current and at the second part we have a constant voltage. Only 300 mAh were charged into this battery since it was already charged before. We can suppose this battery is now full. We did the same procedure with the second battery. Let's have a look now at the discharging diagrams. This is now the discharging diagram of the first battery. A discharging current of 200 milliampers was drawn constantly during the whole time. You can see that the battery voltage is also dropping. At this specific point I had to stop the discharging because I had no time. Well, okay, the truth is I was going to holiday and I didn't want to keep the charger running the whole time. A capacity of 930 mAh was drawn at that time from the battery, so this battery is quite good. This is the charging diagram of battery 2. You can see that battery 2 seemed to be more empty than the other battery because it charged for a longer time with constant current. After that the current was decreased to keep the voltage constant. Into battery 2 350 mAh were charged, so we can assume it as full. This is now the discharging diagram of battery 2. The discharging current of 200 mA was also constant during the whole time. 
you can see that the voltage is decreasing and decreasing and decreasing and suddenly drops very fast. If it drops under a specific voltage, the discharging is stopped here. The capacity of this battery was determined to be 847 mAh, so it had approximately 100 mAh less than the first battery, but it has still more than the original 5-year-old battery. Let's conclude this video. I have tested several mobile phone batteries, it's the BST33, and I got some good ones at the top and two bad ones at the bottom. Unfortunately I could not determine how to find out if a battery is good or bad if you see it in a shop or an internet shop. I think it is really bad that you get a lot of batteries with a lower capacity than promised. I hope you could learn a bit about charging and discharging of lithium ion and lithium polymer batteries and I hope to see you again.